Hi folks, this is John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru, talking about sheer idiocy. So what's the sheer idiocy I'm going to talk about? Well, if you have a law, the law is only as good as you enforce it. And if somebody violates the law, there's a penalty. The penalty is meant to cause the person to not want to break the law again. I got a ticket the other night. I'm going to contest it. Uh, not contest the fact that I was guilty, but just try to get the points off my license if I can so that I uh, won't hurt my uh, future insurance payments. But uh, I will be less likely to speed in the future because of that. I got pulled over. It was a reminder, hey, dummy, watch your speed. I violated the law. I got a penalty. But what we are seeing is a failure by the federal government to enforce penalizing of bad practices. For example, there's an article that's been resurfaced. It was actually, it came out in March of this year. And it stated that under the current administration, there has been a decrease in the fines associated with each nursing home decrease from an average of $41,000 plus in 2016 to $26,000 plus now. That's problematic because you are basically, um, you used to paddleboard spank these nursing homes for violating law and now you're giving them a hard slap on the wrist. And that doesn't sound nearly as bad, does it? Uh, you know, these nursing homes are hedging their bets on the fact that they're not going to have to face as big a penalty. Therefore, they can get away with more stuff. And that's problematic. The other problem stems from the fact that group and concurrent, we've talked about this quite a bit, that if a nursing home, a th therapy organization decides to exceed 25% group and or concurrent, they're not going to pe be penalized. They are going to get a warning. Now, the other night, cop pulls me over. He gives me a warning. I get away with it. I am more likely to speed again. I, You know, I'm going to probably speed again. But since I got that ticket the other night, I'm slowing down. I'm watching my speed more, you know, a little bit more carefully now. And, uh, you know, if I, I'm looking more carefully, I've got ways on to see if anybody's seeing any police officers. I'm being more cautious. I'm going to try to stay within the legal boundaries of driving. If you don't penalize somebody for doing wrong, and let's face it, Medicare's made it very clear that delivering more concurrent in group is likely not patient-specific care. Probably wrong. If you don't penalize organizations for doing that, you're just going to perpetuate the behavior. So what I'm urging you to do is to please reach out to your, um, your representatives, your senators, and urge them to reinstate hard penalties for violations of the law by nursing homes and rehab companies and the regulatory principles related to group and or concurrent. Because until these agencies face the stiff penalties, they're just going to keep on speeding to get the most money they can. Anyway, John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru. Hoping you have a great night. Take care. God bless.